YouTube, what's up? It's Magnificent Mouse here, and I'm just doing a quick video for you today to show you guys how you can buy and purchase CSGO skins. Now, if you're under the age of 18 and you don't have a valid ID to show, to prove on some of these sites, then you will be paying between 20 and 30% more for skins, but you'll receive them directly, you won't have to worry about any trade holds, and you'll have to use the Steam market. So, what I would highly recommend is using the Steam Market in your Google Chrome web browser or equivalent Mozilla Firefox, whatever you guys are using. Um, you're going to want to install the Steam Inventory Helper uh, Chrome extension because this will show, I'll show you now just with AK Red Lines real quick, um, how, just how helpful it is and how it fast tracks the process of buying skins. So this is what your screen is going to look like, provided that you have the appropriate extensions installed. So looking here, we've got a 0.26, which isn't isn't bad at all. That's been sold. 0 0.35, 0 0.36. Oh, I guess it's 0.36 is the is the cap. I wouldn't. I'd try and avoid these skins because they are going to be worth just market. You're going to want to look for stuff like, for instance, this 0.26. So if we get a 3D model from CS.Money can mass sell skins. So it's going to load the 3D image. And as we can see, this is this is pretty clean. Like the only way you can notice is at the back and just here. The rest of it is pretty much flawless. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at a 0.35, which is towards the highest end of the, the float range. So we're going to just take a quick look at this. Okay, so on this model, you can see this is a 0.35, and as you can see, there's loads of wear on the mag. It's it's scratch. If I just zoom in for you, you can just see like all of the scratches everywhere. It's not that appealing to look at. It's not the worst. It's not as bad as like a well worn or a battle scarred, but there, there's a clear difference between this and this. Like it's night and day. I'll just sort of keep these on the screen sort of near each other so you can see the differences in where this is the difference that float value makes. So now that we've discussed uh, how you should be buying items, also uh, I feel like it's worth noting if you want to sell items using this extension, it's super easy. So I'm just going to sell a few items real quick. This is how quick it is to sell items, sell seven, auto selling. Uh, auto adjust prices to negative one so they insta sell and then it's as easy as that literally it will do all of the selling for me i'm not touching my keyboard this is like the benefits of using a chrome extension add-on um next up we're going to look at steam analyst now if you're going to be trading or doing anything with skins you need to know what their average prices are and whether it's a good deal or not so I'm going to show you a few good tools on Steam Analyst. I'm not, I am not. just want to make this very clear right now. I'm not sponsored by any of these sites. The closest thing that I am is I have an affiliate link with Loot Bear and I will show you Loot Bear Store in due course and a little update on how my Loot Bear Store ventures are going. So let's take a look at the Karambit Doppler, for instance. This is a very popular skin and it's saying that Factory New... So with a Karambit Doppler, there's a bunch of different patterns you can get. So you can get Ruby, Sapphire, Black Pearl, Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, Phase 4. So Phase 4 is fake Sapphire. Phase 3 is sort of like junk tier. Phase 2 is a fake Ruby or Pink Galaxy, which is what people call it. Or a Phase 1, which is fake Black Pearl slash just lesser, nicer looking Black Pearl. So these are all the average prices that have... Uh, that have come over over months and months and months of trading and being tracked. Also, if you use Steam Analyst, it will show you what the current item, so what the cheapest one is on each of the websites that it would recommend you using. I'm only going to show you a few today because I can't use Skin Baron. Um, I have never used Shadow Pay, so I'm not going to recommend them. CSGO.com, I've never used them. Um, Axpeer, I've never used them. I know D Market is a big thing, but uh, again, I've never used it. So I'm not going to recommend anything that I haven't used because I wouldn't want to vouch for something that I'm just not savvy on. 
but I am savvy with the with the rest of them. I used to use a lot of bit skins and stuff like that. So as we can see from here, the cheapest price we've got on the board is CS Money, which is a site that I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase in a minute. So if, you, if someone's offering you a trade, another good thing with uh, the extension for your Chrome is it will get you the average price by Steam Analyst or any of the online stores as opposed to the Steam Market and it will show you, you can select which, which one it chooses and it will show you how much the trade's worth before you accept it. So someone might send you, I don't know, let's think of something that's really inflated. Like say uh, the Operation Hydra Key is a, a perfect example because they were overbought and there's less cases than there are Operation Hydra Keys. So Operation Hydra Keys are not worth the same amount as a normal CSGO key. I understand that key trading is a big thing, but I'm just using this as an example. Someone offers you overpay with 100 Hydra Case Keys, but your item's only worth 90. You accept it immediately because you're like, oh, 100 keys, fuck yeah. Turns out these are worth about 0.7 of a key. So you've actually just taken a fat L thinking you're getting overpay. So this extension is really useful for that because it will give you the average price and it'll stop you getting scammed. Also, just because the last item that was sold, sold for $1,000, doesn't mean that the item is worth $1,000. All it means is that for some reason, for instance here, 700 pounds. Oh wow, I'm getting such a good deal. No, you're not dickhead because there's a bunch of different patterns and it's only worth 436 pounds. But you can see recently, if you go to week, you can see recently what, what they've been selling for. With a Crambit Doppler, just keep in mind with skins with different patterns, some patterns are worth a lot more than others. Like take the case hardens, for instance. So they're obviously gonna sell for a lot more, a lot more. So just be savvy, do your price checks and you'll be fine. So I'm done with this. Steam Analyst is, is great. You can search up pretty much any skin. It will show you what the cheapest one is and what a website to buy. Now we're gonna move on to Bitskins. Bitskins is a great site to buy and sell skins on. It's known worldwide, 30% off every skin. Any skin you could want, you can imagine is gonna be here and it's gonna be a hell of a lot cheaper. Let's let's take a look at something like Tiger Tooth's factory name. So this is $171. So if I go to 176, a hundred of pounds are worth a lot more than dollars. So I'd say that 176 is about 200 and something dollars. You're literally saving like $30 buying from here. The biggest downside that I have and my biggest gripe with Bitskins is previously you used to be able to use PayPal in order to deposit skins and, and credit card and stuff like that. Now it's only cryptocurrencies as far as I'm aware. So I don't personally use Bitskins anymore, but I know that it is, I've used it a lot and it works and it's, it's a good trusted marketplace. Moving on to CS Money. Stickers and then we go by price, high to low. You can find loads of Kadavitsa stickers like, and you can buy all sorts of crazy Kadavitsa crafts. Are they worth the prices? Probably not, but for accessibility reasons, this is really good. The prices aren't that bad, but I think you definitely do get mugged off if you trade Kadavitsa skins on CS.Money. They have a bunch of different skins. Uh, I've added balance myself and withdrawn skins. I have traded skins for skins. So I do think it's got its place in the CS community, but do I personally use it? I try to avoid it unless I see something that I, I feel like I need. I, mean, I see something that I'm like, oh, okay, I need this. This looks absolutely incredible. You'll be able to zoom in on it. You can see the screenshot. You'll be able to see if it's got anywhere. Like here, you can see next to the sticker where my mouse is, there's somewhere there. Is it worth an extra 170, 174 pounds, 34 pence? I think you can literally buy like another hot rod for this. You can literally buy like two, maybe three hot rods for what they're at. So we're gonna move on to skin port now. This is a personal favorite of mine. I absolutely love this site. The site is so amazing. It makes it so easy to buy and sell skins. Like honestly, see all CSGO items. You can go highest discount straight away. You can adjust the prices. I check this every single day so I can snipe skins that are being quick sold. If they've got trade locks or they're tradable, like up here, you can see this has got six days left on it, or this is tradable instantly. Um, let's, let's just take a look. Like, 
35% off. I mean, this isn't even a high high skin. Like, you, you can literally buy anything 30 plus percent off on here. It's actually insane. Let's do another comparison. The Karambit Doppel Phase 1. This is not a high tier Karambit at all. This is like one of the trash tier Karambit Dopplers uh, patterns, anyway. 30% uh, off, 363 pounds. Let's compare that to Steam Market. 30%, yeah. 363, Steam Market. 451. I'm not a rocket scientist, but £100 is a big difference. £100 is a huge difference. So this is just me like trying to, trying, trying to show you guys, if you want to get into skin trading and investing and stuff like that, try to use third party sites for like uh, initially getting the skins and stuff like that. A, a lot of people uh, hating on the alt fade currently at this present moment in time because they don't think it's worthy of its red tier but i need to remind people that like when shattered web came out not everyone liked the gun there as much as they deny it now people did not like the gun there or all the all prints and stuff like that and next we're going to be talking about float market uh this is probably one of my favorite ones to browse through and i will show you why so we've got three different sections so we've got top deals newest items and my favorite unique items so this is where the high tier shit is boys so this ranks skins float db ranks skins so every skin has got a world ranking so this 99 cents jungle slipstream battle scarred is the 11th most battle scarred in the world and it's less than a dollar like really fucking cool any with these logos on the golden f shows the highest float in the world or the lowest float in the world like these are special skins um but you can find oh, oh that's painful to look at 39 percent scraped you can find Kadavitsa skins lowest float skins highest float skins 100 percent fade skins case hardened like patterns this is literally oh my god this is crazy the factory the lowest float factory new pantera in the world i want to say pretty much anything from here it's going to be jaw dropping in game like you imagine playing a game and you're like you, you ask your friend for an orb they drop you a pit viper and it's got fucking Kadavitsa 2014 hollows on it like damn dude um skeleton knife stat track field tested super high tier rank 55 in the world it's just it's really cool and i highly suggest you guys to check these websites out they are so cool so awesome uh this gray one second or third lowest so like gold is like the top tier silver is like the sort of second third tier um if you see that logo like this is the highest float in the world m9 tiger tooth that's pretty that's pretty cool because minimal wear is rarer than factory new when it comes to dopplers tiger tooths that sort of thing but 100 guys i highly recommend you to check this marketplace out it is fucking cool moving on to float database uh this is another tool on float db this guy float.db and you can actually see how many items exist of skins what rankings they are check your items rankings all sorts of cool stuff so like we'll just do a quick search for the orc fade 2366 orc fades in the world holy shit dude so personal favorite of mine and well besides skinport i fucking rate skinport but this is probably the second favorite of mine and i'll tell you for why in a second Lots of people didn't know that you can actually buy skins on Loot Bear as well as rent them out and sell them. Um, you can, there isn't a big selection and there's not always a big selection. Sometimes there's like three pages, other times there's like half a page. Like now there isn't, this is kind of a bad example, percent off and like 15, 15. It's all well and good. If you have a trade block skin, say this Damascus Steel, five days left on it, if you buy that, that will go straight into your loot bear inventory. Try and be smart, guys. Be safe. Don't get scammed. This is a really long ass video. It's going to take a lot of editing. This has been Magnificent Malice. It has been Magnificent. Hey, guys. 
Future Paul here, and if you've watched it this far, I'm going to make a deal with you. If this video reaches 10 likes, I will eat a Yu-Gi-Oh card.